Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another thrilling chapter of our tale. Today, we're diving into chapter two, where the sun sets over Lila Thompson's backyard, casting long shadows that dance across the dry earth. The air is thick with the scent of sun-baked sand, and the distant call of a hawk echoes the vast desert surrounding the quaint town of Salem. Gathered around a weathered picnic table, Lila, Ethan Rivera, Sophie Green, and Jack stand in a loose circle, an ancient book resting before them. Its pages flutter like the wings of restless spirits, and each child feels the weight of the moment. They're about to uncover secrets that could change everything. So, buckle up, because this chapter is packed with mystery and emotion. Now, this reminds me of those classic tales where every page turned reveals a new layer of mystery. Lila's fingers tremble as she turns the brittle pages of the ancient book. Each illustration pulses with life, telling a story of Salem's haunted past. As Lila reads aloud, the air thickens with unspoken tension. Ethan feels a chill, not from the breeze, but from the realization that these stories echo their own fears. Lila's voice wavers as she speaks of a spirit mirroring her fear of failure. Ethan is drawn to a tale of isolation, a spirit yearning for connection. Sophie feels a kinship with a ghostly artist trapped in unexpressed emotions. And Jack, ever the skeptic, scoffs but grapples with his own doubts. The tension is palpable, a tightrope stretched between belief and skepticism. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. As the sun dips lower, casting a warm glow over the backyard, whispers of discontent float through the air. Jack's skepticism creates a rift, clashing with Lila's belief in the supernatural. Enter Ms. Hargrove, the town's enigmatic librarian. With her silver hair glinting in the fading light, she beckons the children closer. Her voice is a soothing balm against their rising fears. The spirits are tied to the town's history, she explains, her eyes glimmering with understanding. The children listen intently, their hearts pounding in unison. Each spirit is a reflection of their struggles, a reminder that the past cannot be ignored. The stories intertwine, revealing a tapestry of pain and resilience that binds the town together. Yeah, you thought it was over, think again. With the final rays of sunlight slipping away, the children prepare for a climactic encounter with a haunting spirit. The desert night envelopes them, and as the stars twinkle overhead, they know their journey is just beginning. This chapter leaves us on the edge of our seats, eager to see how these young adventurers will confront their fears head-on. So, if you're as hooked as I am, make sure to stick around for the next chapter. And remember, this is just the beginning of an epic tale. Until next time, keep those imaginations soaring.